Hello guys, Jen Victoria po at uh, umpisa na natin ang day 12 ng ating series dito sa 30 Days Photoshop Tutorials. So our topic for today is about on how to use the pen tool. So this is a one-of-a-kind tool that allows you to create reinforced shapes and selections. So gamitin muna natin siya bilang path. So gagamitin natin pang select itong pen tool na ito. So sometimes may mga pictures tayong madaling alisin ng background kasi very plain yung background nila. Sometimes puti, very plain white, very plain color. But for this instance, we have this picture na kung saan hindi plain yung background. So ang gagawin natin dito, si select natin yung bote. And this is a very great example kasi yung bote ng Coke ay may mga curves curves. So let's begin by clicking or click and drag para magsimula noong ating selection. So, as you click and drag, may lalabas na parang wires dyan o yung tinatawag ng baser handle or baser, baser curve handles. So, as you click somewhere dito sa point na yan, may mabubuo ng curve. Okay? See that? So, sinobrahan ko lang yung curve para makita nyo na lumabas siya. Now, ulitin natin para maging sumakto siya doon sa gilid ng um, uh, bote. So, click and drag. Konting click and drag lang para Pagka-click and drag ko dun sa point na yan, eh, makontrol ko na yung curve. Okay? So, again, pen tool is one of the most complex tool here in uh, Photoshop. But, it takes a lot of practice para ma-master nyo ito. Okay. So, next, may parang pa-curve ulit dito sa uh, part na to. So, as I click and drag ulit, no? Pwede nyong i- uh, pwede kayo mag-hand tool no? habang nagpipen tool kayo. So, undo ko. So, click and drag and then pagating dito sa... And then you can use your undo. No? Pag nagkamali kayo sa so pag-curve, curve. curve no? Click and drag. Hilaan ko na konti pa taas. Ayun, para sumakto yung curve. Medyo nakuha ko na yung curve. So, in this part naman, wala naman masyadong curve. So, I just need to click here. And using your Alt key, Alt, and drag mo yung point na yun para may lumabas na baser handle. Okay? Na may iksi lang. Tapos, pag nag click ka dyan sa part na yun, ayun, magka-curve na siya ng konti. Okay? So, may parang konting curve lang at that part. So, kailangan kong putulin yung baser handle dito. So, alt and uh, alt and drag ko papunta dito para ma-manipulate ko yung um, baser handle as I move that at nag-click ako dito sa itas. Ayun. Konti lang yung curve, no? Medyo hindi sumakto pero again, you can you can control the handle so alt and drag. Ayun, para sumakto ulit siya. Alt and click ko dito sa part na yan because maliit lang yung curve na mapo-produce. Then click and drag ko dito sa part na yan. O undo. Okay. And then there's a very minimal curve diyan so wala masyadong effort ng pagki-click and drag and drag ng konti, here. No, there's uh, not so much bump, pero may very visible na curve dito sa may bandang duro ng bote. So, papano yan? As I click and drag here, hindi sumakto yung uh, curve. Now, as I click again here, mali ulit. So, I need to move the handle dito sa part na yan. And then, ayun, mag, ayun. Just click and drag at that part and then, ulitin mo na, continuous na yung ating curving. So, nasa papunta na tayo sa kabilang side. Pababa naman na yung curve natin ngayon. Okay? So, you just move the wires para makontrol mo yung curves na mapuproduce. No? Okay? So, pwedeng paunti-unti. So, ang secret talaga dyan is you should know when and what part ng curve mo, i-manipulate or i-control yung baser handle to produce reinforced curves. Okay. At saka, practice lang talaga. Now, pababa na tayo. Ayan. Dito mapapansin nyo, mahaba-haba na yung aking mga curves na uh, kinagawa o yung pang aking pagkiklik and drag kasi yun nga, hindi siya masyadong sobrang curve na sa part na yan sa may bandang neck na yan ng bote 
And don't be afraid na mag-zoom in at mag-track ng view ninyo kasi pwede kayong mag-zoom tool at mag-hand tool kapag naka-magnify kayo dun sa inyong mga ginagawa. Ayun, no? Ayan. Okay, you can use your hand tool para makontrol nyo yung view ninyo. So, as you move here, malapit na tayong matapos sa curving. So, pagpalagay ko itong part na yun, I think, uh, may ngipin-ngipin eh, yung, uh, yung body or parang mga bubble. So, I'll just make it plain. Okay. Okay. At pag na-reach nyo na yung starting point nyo, mangyayari, okay, litan na natin yung handle. Ayan. Medyo may mga ganong factor. Minsan, papalya. But again, kung sakali man nagkaganon, pwede nyong um, i-manipulate or i-control again yung handle. No worries. Haayos yan. There you go. Okay. So, with the selection na nabuo, you can now right-click and make selection, then click OK, and magkakaroon na ng selection ng marquee. Next, duplicate natin yung layer. Control J. Kasi ang gagawin natin, uh, kunwari, ilalagay, maglalagay po tayo ng mga bote behind the uh, the actual uh, bottle dyan sa middle. So, with that, uh, nakaduplicate tayo. Huwag natin gagalawin yung nasa gitna. So, duplicate ulit tayo. Ilagay natin sa ilalim. no Parang ano na lang to, more on arranging of layers na lang. As you click and drag or move the layer behind the layer 1 copy o yung layer sa gitna, yun. Kunwari, nasa likod yung bote. And then you can repeat the process. Konting resize. Duplicate. At konting uh, arrangement sa layers ninyo. Yan, magkakaroon kayo ng soldiers of bottles. Alright. So, uh, you will notice sa may ibandang ilalim, syempre hindi siya mukhang natural. It's because yung actual bottle sa middle lang ang may reflection. No? But, using some tricks, yun. Duplicate mo ulit yung layer, tapos i-flip mo using free transform tool. Konting uh, skewing. Free transform. Hold your control. Yan, tapos konting blending sa layer blending option. Opacity. And then, yun. And then, you can use your clipping mask. And then, Fill it with black. Tapos, using brush, balik natin, soft brush. Okay. Brush tayo ulit dito. Ng color white. and para bumalik yung part na yan. And, you don't need to do that. Okay, pero okay lang din kung ulitin mo. Pero dito, dinuplicate na lang din natin yung reflection. Tapos, konting bura-bura na lang dun sa mga part na kailangan burahin. So again, learning the pen tool here in Photoshop, at first try, medyo complex, but as you learn deeply, and as you practice using the pen tool, marami, maraming maraming possibilities kayong pwedeng magawa using this special tool ni Photoshop. So good luck in grinding up your skills, and see you ulit sa mga susunod na tutorials natin.